And in the interest of complete transparency, oh, morning, morning. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Silence is Golden, the show where we help you start and grow your very own WordPress consulting business. My name is Troy Dean. And I am Simon Kelly. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a blue ball, but it contains something very magical inside, and we're going to show you uh, what that is uh, a little bit later on in the show. So make sure you stick around for that and tell your friends to come and, and we're going to reveal what's inside the magic box. Hey, on today's episode, we're going to talk about uh, starting your own WordPress consulting business and some of the myths that might be holding you back. We're also going to talk about how you can get paid more, charge higher fees for the skills that you already have. That's right, you don't need to go and learn a whole bunch of new tech or design skills to get paid higher fees. You just need to have a better quality conversation with your clients, I'm gonna talk about that. And we're gonna spill the beans on our go wide, go deep method, so stick around for that. All that and a whole lot more, stay with us. Now we have just come back from Santa Monica. Uh, we had an amazing trip out there, didn't we? Yeah, it was epic. Yep. It was, dude. The Mastermind was amazing with all the Mavericks, which is of course the, the high-end Mastermind with WP Elevation. And then we had WP Elevation Live, which was the public event with about 50 yeah. people there. We had Dan and Mole stuff. Yep. We had um, Chris, Chris Lemma. Adam Prezer. Prizer, I believe he said at- Prizer, is it? Yeah, I think it was Prizer. Oh, I think he said at dinner. That was, yeah, dinner was awesome. It was great having a laugh with all of them. That Adam's was, a character, isn't he? I've great. always yeah, called absolutely. him Adam Prezer, and if that's okay, Adam, I'm gonna to continue to call you Adam Prezer if that's all right. Of he, course, he's from WP Crafter. Someone tag him in, yeah. tell him that Troy's mispronouncing his name again. He said as long as it's you refer to him as the bold guy on yep. YouTube that does the WordPress videos, that's right. it's all good. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and this ball, this blue ball, featured heavily out in Santa Monica. Uh, and in fact, um, I'll tell you what we're gonna do, instead of telling you what it is. We're just gonna show you the blue ball in action. I believe that Max has put together a montage of our trip out to Santa Monica. Let's take a look. There we go, did you see the blue ball in action? Did you see the blue ball in action? You can throw this thing, there you go. Woohoo, look at that. It is actually a microphone. It's called the Q ball, as in the letter Q, B A W L. Uh, it was about 180 bucks on Amazon and it's a microphone and you can throw it around the room so that when you're running events, you can just say, instead of having a person run around with a roving mic, you can just throw this ball, people catch it, talk into this bit here, because in here is actually a, uh, uh, in here is a little clip and you unclip that and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a microphone. It's not a very good quality microphone. It's a little bit uh, tinny. It sounds like an old ghetto blaster from the 80s. Mm. Uh, not that you would remember what ghetto blaster Oh yeah, of course. Oh, you remember yeah, ghetto blaster? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't think you were old enough to remember ghetto blasters. Um, and uh, this then just plugs into, it sends a wireless signal to the receiver which plugs into your desk your audio desk, uh, which then goes into the speakers and people can be heard. This is not the best version of this. He's off on a tangent. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, there is a better version of this called the catch box, which is a lot more expensive, um, but it's a lot better. But there's about a three week wait, waiting list to get the catch box, so we didn't have that much time to wait, so we bought this instead and we brought it back with us. Next time, go. catch box, branded, it'll yeah, be awesome. That's right. But we, this, it did the job. It did a pretty did good job. job. Yeah, Correct. yeah. Considering minimum, <laughs> minimum viable product. Yeah. Um, the catch box is, is a cube and you can brand it up. You can have your own logo and stuff printed yeah. on it. So it's pretty sexy. And the point was because we wanted to record, and not just we could hear people in the room, which is obviously important, people can yell, but we can record the audio and then for the recordings of Correct. the amazing things that were taught and the realizations that were had, that's right. they can rewatch. And it's not like, well, what, what do they say? That's right, so our Mavericks Club members, because we did this in Thailand. When we went to Thailand, we live streamed our Mavericks Club event for those members who couldn't make it. We had a couple of members in the US who had young kids and they couldn't make it out to Thailand, so they sat up and watched it via Zoom, live stream, and then we put the recordings up in our private Slack channel after that. But they couldn't hear what other people were saying in the room, they could just hear Simon and I flapping our gums for two days. They couldn't hear what the other uh, Mavericks were saying. So this allowed us to record 
as Simon said, uh, hear people in the room, but also capture that audio so that Max is now editing those videos together for our members and they'll be able to hear everything that was said in the room. Yep. And for WP Elevation Live, which was the event we ran on Saturday, we also have the recordings of that, which we may be making available as a product. We're not sure yet. Mm. So keep your ears out for that. Um, Anyway, one of the conversations we had out in Santa Monica was there were a few people out there who were just starting their business from scratch. They were just starting a WordPress consulting business and they came to WP Elevation Live on the Saturday. And there's a lot of fear around starting your own business and knowing whether or not you can get paid a reasonable amount of money to build a website for a client and whether or not that money is going to be enough to sustain you full time so that you don't have to go and get a job. And this is a very, very, very common conversation. Yeah. And I think it's because well, I know when I first started out, WordPress is free. Mm -hmm. It's open source software. You download it. Within five minutes, you can be building a website for a client using all these amazing free plugins and themes. Yeah. It's ridiculous the amount of stuff you can get for free. I looked at Mixkit the other night mm. by Envato, which is a high definition stock video marketplace. At the moment, it's free. I'm sure it won't be free forever. But dude, I was like, holy hell. Like, yeah. it, it, the, I mean, with that, with, with things like Beaver Builder and Elementor, with things like Generate Press and the Astra theme, if I was starting a web design agency now, it's like I started in, back in 2007, it's a whole different yep. landscape now. The, the amount of amazing, high quality product you can produce for a client in terms of websites and digital marketing assets using a lot of these marketplaces, Envato Elements and, and uh, Mixkit and all of the themes and plugins, which basically cost you pennies, right? And I think that's why people get stuck on the idea that, well, I can't charge any more than $500 for this website because it hasn't cost me, it's only cost me 150 bucks to build it, yeah, right? And it hasn't taken me long at and all. It hasn't taken me long. <coughs> but what you forget is the amount of time you have spent figuring all that out. Yeah. And so here's what I just want to pre-frame this by saying this. If you believe that you shouldn't get paid any more than $1,500 or whatever the number is for a website because it doesn't cost you very much and it doesn't take very long, then you are right. However, if you also believe that you should get paid $10,000 for a website because of the intellectual property and the knowledge and the experience you bring to the project and your ability to integrate all of those solutions and hand over a, a solution to the client, then you are also right. The point is, whatever you believe, you are right. So if you've got this limiting belief that you can't get paid any more than 1500 bucks, then you won't get paid any more than 1500 bucks because you will take the actions required to make sure you get paid $1,500. Whereas if you want to get paid $10,000 and you believe that you deserve $10,000 for a website, then you will take the actions required to get paid $10,000 for a website. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's an interesting topic because it's a little bit woo-woo and it's like, what, you can't just believe really? and get paid more. But I, I like how you said, like the um, well, you'll, you can actually. It'll be the actions you can, well, that's that you right. take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not like that once book you believe secret it, yeah, that yeah. tells you. Just, just Manifest think about... It checks arriving in the post and yeah. they'll manifest. Now that's bullshit. You have to actually do something right. in order to get paid. But but you need to believe it first. You need to believe Step it one first. is believing it that's first right. and the rest will follow up. Because afterwards. if you don't believe it, you will actually sabotage it. If yeah. you don't believe it, if, you, if you're like, well, I, well, no one's going to pay me more than $3,000 for a website, happy days. You're absolutely right. No one will pay you more than $3,000 for you a will, website. You will make that happen. Correct. <laughs> they will sniff that belief out the minute you yeah. walk in the door. Whereas if you believe that you should be getting paid ten or $15,000 for a website, happy days, then you will get paid that if you take the right actions. Mm. But if you don't believe it in the first place, it won't happen. One of those actions that I think is really important and really helped me out when I first started out was the ability to have a better quality conversation with my prospect, rather than talking about the technology, the plugins, WooCommerce, WordPress, all that kind of stuff. I started talking to the client about their needs and their problems and how we could help them with the solution. Yeah. And I devised, I, I learned this from a friend of mine, which, I, which we'll show you in a minute, but I devised a technique called Go Wide, Go Deep, which allows you to have better quality conversations. And I must say, I reckon this is the most valuable thing that we teach in the WP Elevation program in terms of actually impacting people's lives. I know people that have quit their full-time job and now work from home and run their business full-time with their wife or their husband, and they attribute that success 100% to the, the Go Wide, Go Deep method and being able to have better quality conversations with clients. So. Uh, without further ado, I believe we made a training video about this about 105 years ago that's still floating around on the internet. Uh, let's take a look at a bit of a snippet. Time to dig into the gold nugget.
Okay, so the first question that you want to ask, this, this all comes down to asking the right questions. I think it was Tony Robbins who said the quality of our life is defined by the quality of our relationships. I'd like to take that one step further, thank you Mr. Robbins, and say that the quality of our relationships is defined by the quality of questions that we're prepared to ask. Most web designers and web developers that sit in an office with a client will not be prepared to do what I'm about to show you, and this is how you will stand head and shoulders above the pack. So the first thing you wanna do is get used to asking questions, and the very first question you wanna ask a client when you first meet them is, why do you need to build a new website? This is one of the most powerful questions that you can ask. Why are we doing this? Why do you need to build a new website? I'm gonna give you a real life example of one of my first clients who owned an osteopath clinic. I said, why do you wanna build a new website? He said, well, we need to get some more people in from the search engines, you know, like we're just not coming up in search as much as I want us to. You know, we need to get some more traffic from search and get some more people walking into the, into the clinic. I said, cool. Then I learned this, this go wide, go deep technique from a good friend of mine, Toby Travener. I hope you're watching, Toby. Thank you very much. It changed my life, this technique. The next question I ask is, why else? Why else do you want to build a new website? So you want to get some more traffic from search engines? That's cool. Why else? Are there any other reasons why you need a new website? He said, well, yeah, it looks a bit dated. I said, okay, fair enough. You know what the next question was? That's right, ah, cliffhanger. Bit of a cliffhanger. That's right. Thank you to Andre Chaperone for teaching us the cliffhanger technique there. Uh, if you want to see the rest of that video, it is actually part of a three part free training video series that we put together, uh, which basically covers everything that we teach in the WP Elevation Blueprint program. There's a whole bunch of free training in there. It starts off with the proposal template, how to fill in the proposal template. Uh, the second video, which is that one there, is the go wide, go deep method in all its glory. And the third video is the entire WP Elevation Blueprint for running a WordPress consulting business. So if you want to access that video training series, go to wplinks.io slash proposal, download the proposal template, watch the first video, and then a couple of days later, you'll be able to watch the second video, which is go wide, go deep, and mm -hmm. find out what those series of questions are. Yeah. So go wide, go deep is part of the, uh, the positioning module in uh, WP Elevation. So that's just yep. one of the modules that are part of the WP Elevation Blueprint that helps from, from incoming leads, through to delivery, through to getting referrals, and everything in between. So uh, uh, if you want to check out what the different modules are, make sure you check out wplinks.io slash proposals. Awesome, and you know the other thing about Go Wide Go Deep is yes, it does help you position yourself as a consultant, not a freelance web designer, mm -hmm. and usually consultants get paid better fees than freelancers, but the other thing that it allows you to do is it allows you to manage scope creep. Uh, there's a good screenshot for Maddie, isn't there? Hey? Um, scope creep is when you start building a project and then two weeks later the client starts saying things like, where do my customers log into their membership portal and have a look at their past orders? Yeah. And you're like, oh, hang on a second, who said anything about memberships and who said anything about e-commerce? Did I miss a meeting? Mm -hmm. And they start adding all these features into the project and it yeah. blows out and then you have to have an awkward conversation which is like, well, I can do that but it's gonna cost you more money. Mm -hmm. And most of us just try and do the work and absorb the shock and our profit just goes straight out the window. Yeah. Having a good conversation up front and getting a very clear brief from a client allows you to manage those expectations from the start. So go wide, go deep is absolutely at the core of uh, pretty much everything we teach here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, one of the things that we did recently was caught up with a couple of our customers just to hear the impact that using some of these techniques has had on their lives. And this is one of my favorite stories. Jasmine Andrews is a friend of ours from Sydney. She's a work from home mum. She's got two kids. Uh, she works from home so she can spend time with her kids and she has gone from selling websites from, for 500 bucks to multiple six figures a year and avoiding burnout by working with fewer clients and adding more value to those clients. And I caught up with her recently and we had a bit of a chat. In the interest of complete transparency, we were chatting recently because you've been posting some success stories in our community group. And so fast forward, uh, one of the kind of catchphrases that we came up with here is, and one of the things we wanted to talk to you about was how you've increased your revenue to multiple six figures and avoided burnout by working with fewer clients from your spare room, right? Yes. Which is, so you're still, so fast forward to 2018, you're still, you're working from home, yeah? Yep. Uh, yeah. You're a, you're a mum, yeah? Yes, and I have two kids. And I have two kids. And um, so how have you done this? Like what, what's been the key driver in you going from, Starting out, not knowing what you're doing, building a shopping cart for someone selling some books to now being in this position where business is pretty good 
And uh, what's what's been the, the key thing that's made a difference, do you think? Going through the blueprint and doing a lot of work around the discovery process with the go wide, go deep um, process there. I realized that's what I actually really enjoyed doing. That was a part that my previous work experience had really set me up well for. And it's what I really enjoyed. It was sort of spending time with the clients and getting to know their business and getting to know what changes a new website would actually mean to them in real terms, what it's going to mean to their staff, to their customers, to how they see themselves. Um, and also to sort of how much how much money they can make. Um, so I decided that um, I would start offering um, paid discovery as a service separate to web design. Mm. And alongside that was um, website reviews. So if you had an existing website and wanted to review the amount of traffic you're getting and what sort of conversion rates you're getting, I was sort of selling that as a as a two part. Um, session uh, or sort of two session thing and um, also just just paid discovery either on site or, or over zoom and that that's where things changed so jasmine i love this jasmine has taken the go wide go deep method and actually turned it into a product yep. that she is selling clients paid discovery mm. there's a concept for you instead of going along and letting a client just pick your brain for free about my new idea for my new website that's going to change the world you actually get paid to have those conversations which means the client is more likely to do something with that knowledge because they've paid for it and yeah. they've got some skin in the game yeah it's interesting isn't it yes. I, what <coughs> I think is fascinating about this as well is like we talk about getting paid more and we really like bang on about that and of course that's important that's what one of the reasons why we're in business but it's also about the value that we can bring to the clients and Jasmine was talking a lot about go wide go deep what kind of impact is this going to have on the customers what kind of impact is this going to have on the business so it is about having that bigger impact and that was definitely a key takeaway for me for the um for the Mavericks Club like a lot of the businesses were created there to have a bigger impact and do something important in the world so I think not just pricing, but it, it is impact as well. 100%. Hey, quick shout out to some people watching the show. Corey Hind is here from New Zealand. Hey, Yo. Corey, how you doing? Karen Leslie is here from Mount Gambier. Kylie Martin is here from um, up the river in South Australia, uh, up the, the River Murray. Scott Kath is here. Uh, Simon Kelly is what? Oh. Uh, Simon Kelly is watching. Karen Williams is also watching. Hey, Karen, how you doing? Troy Dean. Oh. Uh, and Jennifer Franklin. <coughs> Jennifer Franklin, how you doing? Hey, I think you were elevator of the week this week. Oh, you? yeah, Jennifer, absolutely. Just got the go. email this morning. No, Congratulations well to Jennifer. Now, <coughs> uh, quick little segue into our tool of the week. Get ready for tool of the week. Good catch, Max. Uh, he was not prepared for that. Um, so this is a follow-on from the go wide, go deep method, right? What yeah. we do, I'll try and just keep that off my microphone. Sorry about that. Um, what we try and do, once we've uh, had the conversation with a customer, yep. and we've used go wide, go deep, right. what I like to do is I like to record that conversation on the old Odely Cologne here. Does it a uh, you know, Odely Cologne? Odely Cologne. Does it a uh, telephone? Yeah. Does it get weird? Like if you say like, oh, I'm going to record this. It only gets weird if you don't tell them and then pull it out halfway through and go, I'm taping you, yeah, yeah. and then play back Got what that. they said. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah, that's a bit weird. Yeah. But if you tell them up front, you say, listen, I don't want to miss anything. And frankly, I've got a pretty short attention span. So I'm just going to record this if that's all right, so I can play it back later, because I'm probably not going to hear much of what you say. Mm. Because nice I'm daydreaming. One. Yeah, yeah, smooth. About well, well, pre-framing. Talk as, about pre-framing. I'm daydreaming about my life as Tom Cruise nice. in Top Gun. Right, gotcha. There it is. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> thanks to thanks to Benny for that. Look at that, fantastic. Looks like enhance. A uh, okay. That's right. Sharpen. Um, that one. <laughs> so what what we do is we record the conversation. <laughs> yep. And then we send it off to a transcription service, and we get it. So if your meeting is about forty-five minutes long with your customer, you can get it transcribed for about forty-five dollars. Yep. A dollar a minute. In fact, you can get a robot to do it cheaper than that, mm. but it's not 100% accurate. The Amazon Polly or something. Well, Rev even do it now for like 10 cents a minute, Right. Uh, but it's not 100% accurate. So I would just use Rev.com to transcribe your uh, meeting recording into a transcript. You then get that back. You send that to the client. Mm. I'm giving away the farm here, aren't I? You send that to the client, say, here's a transcript of our meeting, and here's a summary, and then you just go through it. And if you watch the three-part video series, I'll give this all away, but you watch the, um, 
you go through the transcript, you have a look at the language that they've used yep. in that meeting, and you start using their language in your proposal back yep. to them. It's genius if I do say so myself. So instead of sitting there taking notes and like yep. listening and then notes, and that, 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 you can just be asking the right questions, just extracting right. information, and your, your handy note taker will Correct. be doing the hard work for you. And you just use the go wide, go deep method, which you'll learn in that video. It all gets recorded, and then you uh, have got everything you need to write a great proposal. Um, James Fulton, one of our members, was telling me about doing this. Uh, via Zoom, oh, yeah. and uh, he would be recording that, and he would be off somewhere in um, Eastern Europe, hanging out, uh, having meetings with clients in Australia, and then he, he would say, I would absolutely have to record it, because it yeah. would be three in the morning or something, yeah. and he would have no and idea drunk. about going yeah, on. Right. Well, I didn't want to say that, <laughs> yeah. but... He'd be in a hostel somewhere, <laughs> yeah, with exactly. a Polish backpacker. Having client <laughs> meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dear yeah. me. Just like Not hands coming into work. the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, hey, Not hey, safe sorry, for what work. was that? Yeah. 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 So record it. Video off, record the call, <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We so, have no evidence to prove or disprove this. That's right. It's complete speculation. WPLinks.io slash rev is where you go to get your recordings transcribed, and it's been an absolute game changer for us. Uh, I've lost my run sheet now, and I'm locked out of your iPad. So what's nice next? Nice one. Uh, next up is me unlocking the iPad. There, I we, go. there we go. There you go, mate. Lovely. Thanks, mate. Thank and um, so, hey, cool. So we have got some questions from our community. It is time to help people get unstuck. <laughs> Let's get unstuck. So here's the section where I ask the questions on behalf of the people and he attempts to answer them. Uh, this is uh, Katrina Thompson Upton. Thompson Upton is hyphenated. Katrina Thompson Upton says, how does everyone go about scheduling the timeline for a website project? I'm getting hung up on dates. My projects tend to run bigger corporate sites with 100 plus pages and I'm having a hard time getting my project due date to match my actual finish date. Mm. I'm currently using Asana for project management. Does anyone have timeline control advice or delivery schedule ideas they would be willing to share? Yep, yep, absolutely. I think it's more about how you manage the client's expectations and controlling what you can actually control. It sounds like what you're doing there is inserting content and please correct me if I'm wrong, but that is an absolute pain if your client is touching any of that because your team and what you do should just be executing processes to a time frame, and that should not, should not be influenced by your clients at all. You know, if you say three days for feedback for the client, you build that into the time frame, and that's what they've got. Uh, but if you are saying to the client, please insert the content, and you're following them up, and there's 100 pages to deal with, then of course it's gonna go over. Like, the, if someone was building a house, and, this, and part of it was you getting inside the house and moving all your furniture in, then of course that's gonna take longer to build a house, right? If that was the end date, finished project, families moved in, yeah. like how can you control that kind of stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> so it's house complete, job done, we're paid and we're out. It's a great analogy, Fill it with whatever you like. actually. My parents built a house when, well they didn't actually build it, they you know, bought a brand new house and right. we would, after school, a couple of times a week, we would go up to the block of land and have a look at the thing being built mm. and we would, sign off on, and say, yep, the foundation's laid, beautiful, sign off, and then the bank would actually release more money to the builder yep. in instalments so the builder could continue to work. Because if mm. the builder doesn't get paid, they stop work. So we had to go up and luckily we did because we went in there at one point and we realized that the plumbing in the second toilet was in the wrong place. And we're like, no, 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 the toilet goes here, not there, and yep. the basin goes there, not there. So can you please switch that around? Uh, but if we turned up and said, well, you know what, listen, boys, uh, we're just gonna move our new lounge furniture in, before you put the walls up just to make sure it all looks good. Yeah. The problem is we haven't decided what kind of couch we're gonna buy yet. So give us a couple of weeks, we'll go and figure out what kind of couch we're gonna buy, we'll have it shipped up here, we'll put it in, yeah. and then if it looks good, then you can continue. Can you move the couch in for us? Oh, a little to the left. Yeah, oh no, I mean, put the TV on. over there. I mean, that's just ridiculous, that's cray cray. That's right. They're yeah, like, yeah. no, 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 we're building a house, you can fill it with content afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Good analogy. Yeah. Uh, don't know if that answers your question at all, uh, Katrina. Uh, hopefully it does. Uh, Monte Cristo, one of my good friends from Adelaide, um, says here, hello, Brains Trust. How would you respond to this email? This was sent to, Monte Cristo and CC'd his business partner and sales manager. They're good mates and they have a very successful business person. They've blocked out names for privacy, of course. My thoughts are straight to book in a paid online strategy page uh, with some nice words around it in the email. So basically the email says, uh, hey dude, we're heading towards releasing the software version of our thing in April. We're not digital marketing people. Uh, we don't know how to use SEO, click funnels and AdWords. How can we work with you to get online traction with target market who have cloud transition opportunities to plan and model? I've no idea what they're talking about. Mm. And can you help us identify target market from C-level execs, consultants, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, cool. So what they're basically wanting to do is they're wanting to pick 
Chris's brain. Yeah. So, you know, can you help us and how can you help us? Mm. And my advice to uh, Chris was, and he says it here, my thoughts are straight to book a paid online strategy, mm. book in a session and we'll you know, work out your online strategy, but it's a paid discovery session. Mm. And my advice was, uh, uh, that's exactly my advice. Um, yep, book in a workshop, we'll uh, do a discovery session for you. Um, it's a paid workshop, it's a nominal fee, it means I get paid for my time and you also get great advice from me, I'll give you my best because I'm getting paid for it. Yeah. And at the end of it, if you want to take that strategy and shop it around, then happy days, uh, but you're going to have uh, a great strategy at the end of it. Now of course, once you've done the strategy session with them, they're more likely to hire you because you already understand their business and they don't have to go and explain it to anyone else. Yeah. The mistake I think a lot of us make is picking up the phone and going, oh yeah, well we can do this with LinkedIn and we can do this with Facebook and we can do this with AdWords and we can do this with Pinterest and we'll set up an opt-in form here and we'll do an email autoresponder and active campaign here and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and the client's like, <laughs> yeah. they're confused and you don't get paid. And then you put in a proposal and they go, I have no idea why you want me to spend 15 grand, but it sounds a bit complicated. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, you say all those things and they go, huh, seems like we have a lot of work to do and they just get super confused. Yeah. Right. You can give them some level of clarity would help them a lot. Or if they're really savvy, they go, awesome. Now we know what to do. Thanks for that. And they clap, but they don't pay any money because mm -hmm. they go and try and do it themselves. Mm -hmm. So stop doing that. Hope that helps and thank you, big thank you to Monty Cristo and Katrina Thompson Upton for asking those questions. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, hey, we're almost out of time. 28 minutes and 50 seconds. We are determined to keep this under 30 minutes this year. Uh, so remember to check out the full video on the Go Wide, Go Deep method. It is part of our three-part free video training series. You can opt in at wplinks.io slash proposal. Uh, go Wide, Go Deep is the second of those three videos. So opt in, watch the first video about proposals. A couple of days later, you can get the second video and uh, you'll be wiser for it. Absolutely. Mm. Yep. Awesome. Having fun? Only hey, always. By the way, I just wanted to showcase my new Starbucks cup. Did I already do this or not? It's from no. California. I collect Starbucks cups from wherever I travel. I've got Starbucks cups from Thailand. We need a focus puller, don't we? <laughs> really? Uh, just put it. Thailand, mm. Philippines. <laughs> perfect perfect well that's going to be a facebook ad isn't it i can just see <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh thailand philippines and the states i'm collecting uh, starbucks cups so if you are somewhere remote in the world and you find starbucks buy me a cup and send it to troy dean care of wp elevation or silence is golden at 231 chapel street pran spelled p-r-a-h-r-a-n vic 3181 australia i'd be uh, very appreciative of that Let's see what happens. No the one's going to send me a Starbucks cup, are they? Yeah. Uh, hey, this has been fun. Uh, it's good to be back in Australia and it's good to be back in the seat here. Leave a comment under the video. Let us know what you want to learn next about starting and growing a WordPress consulting business. Uh, if you want to work with us uh, privately to help you scale your business, leave a comment with the word Maverick near this video and uh, tag some friends in who you think might find this useful or at least a little bit entertaining. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, wpelevation.com slash YouTube, and like us here on Facebook so that you get notified when we go live. And until next time, I'm Troy Dean. I'm Simon Kelly, and remember, knowledge is power. And silence is golden. <laughs>